In 1970s Los Angeles, a mismatched pair of private eyes investigate a missing girl and the mysterious death of a porn star. Hello everyone, welcome to another movie review, and this one is on the movie The Nice Guys. This came out in 2016, uh, it has had 9 wins, 34 nominations, and had a budget of 50 million bucks. And only uh, worldwide, the worldwide gross uh, when it stopped being in theaters was at sixty-two million seven hundred and eighty-eight thousand two hundred eighteen dollars. Yeah, and the actors are in this movie are Russell Crowe, Ryan Gosling, and and Goey Weiss, Matt Bomo. Margaret Crayley, Yaya What? Yaya Ducosta? Okay. Yeah, Ducosta, sorry. Yaya Ducosta, Keith David, Bo Nath, Lois Smith, Mario Tellio, Girl Gerard, Daisy Tahan, Kim Basinger, Basinger, Jack Kilmore, and Lance Valentine Valent Lance Valentine Butler. Sorry everyone. That last name should have been very easy for me. Valentine. Um okay so yeah my thoughts on the matter. Uh, so first of all uh what to talk about for this one? This was the first time I ever saw this movie. First time ever. What do I think about it? Um, let's go over everything. Okay, so first off, the director is Shane Black. Shane Black. And for what it's worth, he did a good job. He did he did a somewhat good slash very good job with the cast. Because it's his it's his job to direct the acting of the cast. To me personally, he did a good job, uh, slash very good. The actors themselves, I find was, um, it wasn't the worst part. It, I would have to say it was actually, um, qu quite good. It was good, and then at times, very good at other times. And, uh, su surprising, because normally, Ryan Gosling, he does a so a so much better job usually than he did in this movie. Same thing with uh, Russell Crowe. I love Russell Crowe's acting. I thought this was a, a major step down for them. It wasn't as good as they normally do. Yeah. But that being said, the acting wasn't bad. It was just... On the both lines of good slash very good. Same with same with the director. It's the director's job to direct them to act. Uh, and uh, this is how I want you to do this. This is how I want you to do that. Yeah. Um. There are other there are other actors in this, of course. Duh. But those are the two most popular ones that I know that were in this movie, along with Kim Basinger. Yeah. Um, but yeah, for the acting, nothing amazing. No, nothing amazing. The storyline would have to be the worst part. The worst part. Uh, um, for what's worth, it actually had a good plot. A good plot. But the thing is, sometimes it's not written all that well. And this one wasn't written all that well. Uh, I found I found that it was written uh, good. It was, it was written good slash really good at times. It This movie definitely had its moments. But yeah. And also the pacing of the movie. The pacing of the movie. Uh, again, this was one that was like, 
they did not know what to do. Should it be slow at this time? Fast at that time? Yeah. But that was another problem that I felt with with this movie. And to me, personally, it's, be, it's definitely because of that aspect that this movie kind of falls flat. Yeah. Uh, what else to talk about? Oh, yes, before I move on to the graphics and action and all that, I just want to say, Ryan Gosling, you act, uh, the way that your build and mustache was in this movie, you looked like a 1980s porn star. That's what you looked like. Lose it. Keep it saving. You look so much better saving. Um, the graphics for his time. I can understand the fact that they're trying to uh, set this in the 1970s. And I don't know why everything has to be like set in the 70s, set in the 80s. With Stranger Things, set in the 80s. The Stranger Things would have worked out if, if they didn't say in the 80s at all. It still would have worked out. It, to me personally, that would have worked done. And this movie probably... This movie probably would have... Would have lost something? No, I think it would have gained. I didn't like the fact that they... Uh, I didn't like the fact that they... That they put it to be set in the 1970s. I really didn't. Uh, so some movies are like, yes, it should be set, but other movies should not be set. It because some movies that uh, when they try to do that, they tend to do that. It sometimes fail, and that's what this movie failed because it's like it felt it felt so out of place being set in the nineteen seventies. Why? Why? Um. What else? The, okay, now let's go on to the graphics. The graphics uh, for its time it, uh, would have this. It would have to be um, good, just good. Like I said, that even with the graphics, they were trying to say it in the nineteen seventies, and it's like, no, no, it just doesn't work. Doesn't work. So to me personally, the graphics are just good. Uh, action. The action also kind of seemed at a... Action at times was actually very good. Very good. And at other times, it felt out of place. And messy. Like, it wasn't choreographed all that well. The action parts. It wasn't. And this is supposed to be an action movie. Come on. Come on, Derek. Come on, directors, producers, writers, you can do better than this in this day and age. Why uh, why was it why was the action like that? Beyond me. Uh so that's all I really wanted to say about this movie. And not to say that this is a bad movie. It's not. It's just there's a lot wrong with it. And to me personally, don't get me wrong, it's still a very good movie. I was very well entertained. Would I say it's a, an award-winning movie? Definitely not. I wouldn't even nominate this movie. But for what it's worth, I still find that it's a very good, entertaining movie. And with IMDb, with all the users combined, uh, it says it, it gives it a 7.4 out of 10. I'm kind of around, though. I give this movie a 7. Out of 10. A 7 out of 10. Like I said, there was a lot of things wrong with it, but it was still a very good, entertaining movie. For me personally. 7 out of 10. I'm sticking with that. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this movie. And if you love this movie or didn't love this movie, you can let me know in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think, what your thoughts are. I always love your comments whether you love the movie or hate it. You can like this video if you like this review, and you can subscribe to my channel if you love my content. So thank you all for taking time to watch, and join me next time for another movie review I tend to do soon. I 
I'm out.